Hello ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this video, a very warm welcome to another video of mine. Well, today I'm going to talk about the planet Sun and the North Lunar Node that is Rahu. The North Lunar Node Rahu will enter the Aries sign on the 12th of April 2022. And on the 13th of April 2022, the planet Sun will enter the Aries sign and Rahu and Sun will be together in the Aries sign until 14th of May 2022. So this will be a Rahu Surya conjunction. That means Rahu and Sun will be together in the Aries sign at this point in time. That is from 13th of April 2022 until 14th of May 2022. You know, Rahu and the planet Sun are enemies. But just because the planet Sun will be in its exalted sign, by a exalted sign I mean that the planet Sun will be very powerful at this point in time. Hence, it will be able to combat the negativities of the planet Rahu. You know, Rahu is an illusionist. It is an illusion. It is an idea or a belief that is not true. Rahu represents mysteries, psychic perceptions, cleverness, wittiness, diplomacy, manipulation. It represents accidents, diseases, delays, losses and destruction. It also represents compulsive behavior patterns. Rahu also represents alcohol, drugs, addictions, prostitution, gambling, stock market, sudden gains and sudden losses. Rahu also represents unfortunate events, tornadoes, tsunamis, earthquakes, etc, etc, etc. While on the other hand, the planet Sun represents confidence, bravery, courage, initiative. The planet Sun represents your soul, your father, the government, the government officials. Sun also represents your charisma, your magnetism, your intuition. Sun also represents the leadership qualities in you. The planet Sun also represents how you will interact with others. So at this juncture, the planet Rahu and the planet Sun will be together in the Aries sign. And as I told you that the planet Sun will be very powerful at this point in time. You know, whenever a Rahu Sun conjunction takes place, Rahu eclipses the planet Sun. In other words, it brings out the negativity of the planet Sun. But during this time, this would not be the case. Well, seeing the Rahu Sun conjunction, the North Lunar Node and the Sun conjunction and the other planetary positions, I want to tell you all something today. I want to tell you all that you need to start something at this point in time. You need to start something new at this point in time. If you had been thinking about doing something in your life, then this is the appropriate time for you to start something new. And the most important point is that you have to start without thinking. I mean, you mustn't waste too much time on planning what you intend to do in the future. If you get an opportunity, which I think you would, then just grab that opportunity and move forward with your life. You don't need to ponder what you would be starting in the future. You don't need to think about how you will do it. You don't need to think about the future. You just need to think about the present. You need to start something today itself. Because if you think too much, then you will not be able to do things. Because if you think too much about what you are going to do, then fear will envelop you. It will surround you. It will make you fearful at this juncture of your life. So instead of planning or thinking at this point in time, action is needed. I mean, you need to act at this point in time without thinking. You know, if you have something in your heart, any wish, any desire or something which you wanted to do in your life, which can also be the calling of your life, you need to move ahead at this point in time at all costs. Because if you start thinking, then your mind will discourage you at this point in time. You know, your mind is a liar. Your mind will tell you lies at this point in time. 
it will tell you that you can do that it will tell you that you are not good enough for that it will tell you that you are not meant for that it will tell you that you are tired when you really aren't your mind will tell you that you don't have the talents and skills but what you need to do at this point in time is thank your mind for its opinion and you move on with your life that means you need to act in your life without thinking you know it is sometimes better to do things rather keep on thinking you know i know people who have been thinking all their life who have been planning all their life but they haven't acted on those ideas and plans in their life hence they haven't been able to move forward with their life and i don't want you all to do this at this juncture i want you all to act at this point in time and you need to act without thinking start working on your ideas at this point in time without thinking you know some people say that we will do it tomorrow day after the next week the next month the next year but that time never comes in their life as i told you that sometimes it is better to act than to keep on thinking about a particular thing so whether you want to start a business whether you want to do a job whether you want to pursue higher studies whether you want to enter a love relationship whether you want to reconcile with your friends whether you want to make new friends whether you want to earn money whether you want to marry at this juncture you need to act at this point in time don't weigh the pros and cons of what is going to happen in the future you know the future is not in your hands what you can do is today and right now so act you must right now and the other thing which you need to remember at this juncture of your life is that to tell the world about your seed not your need nobody is interested in your need all the world is interested is in your seed by a seed i mean your talents your gifts your skills your vitality the things which you can do for others i mean you don't need to tell them your need you know don't go to others and tell them your need go and tell them what you can do for them what great things you can do for them you know if you go to an empty field and tell that field about your need that field is not going to give you anything but if you plant the seed i mean if you plant the seed under the soil then you will get the crops so in other words if you want to reap you must plant reaping is reserved for the planters but if you go and tell that field about your need that field is not bothered about you all the field is interested is in your seed so you need to bring value to this world not tell them about your need you need to tell the world what you can do for them and the rest will follow that means your needs will be fulfilled after you give what you have in you to the world and the most important thing is that you need to keep the faith at this point in time if you don't believe in god you need to believe in yourself at this point in time you know some people tell me that they don't believe in god but that is all right if you can believe in yourself that is equally good because what is in god is in you god and us are cut from the same cloth what is in god it is in us means that spirit that soul which is in god a part of that is in us so you need to keep that faith that belief in your soul in yourself at this juncture if you don't believe in god you know faith is very important in life you know faith is that thing when you believe that you will get something without even seeing it so have that confidence that you will get a particular thing that you will accomplish a particular thing that you will achieve a particular thing during this time without even knowing that you will get it in the future so keep that faith in yourself keep that faith in god that your future is going to be a bright future for you
and here is something else for you all that you need to forget your past at this point in time you know you don't need to beat yourself up for your past mistakes you know it is okay in life to fail if you have made mistakes in the past forget about that and move forward with your life don't keep remembering your mistakes of the past those mistakes are not going to get rectified if you remember them you know you can drive a car by looking at the rear view mirror you need to look forward in your life in that windshield of that car you know that rear view mirror is your past and all that rear view mirror does is to remind you of the past and your past mistakes it cautions you and it reminds you not to make those mistakes once again in your life so look through the windshield of that car because that windshield is your future your bright future well this is all i wanted to tell you all about this rahu sun conjunction the north lunar node and the planet sun conjunction in the aries sign if you want some specific predictions about yourself then you may contact me directly well like i always say that if you wish to know your future through astrology and you are determined to live the best possible version of yourself well one must always try to live his or her best version of themselves because there is only one life to live there are no duplicates of a life you will not get this human life once again and if you want to enhance your luck in your life if you want to boost your luck in your life if you want to increase and improve your luck in your life because luck plays a very important factor in the life of human beings so if you want to improve this thing called luck then i have several remedies for you you know these remedies which i'm talking about are a fusion of astrological remedies vastu remedies and religious remedies which can be utilized by any person of any religion because i believe that there is only one god in this universe and if you want me to pray for you because prayer can move mountains so if you want me to pray for your health wealth success money prosperity children property business career job relationships love relationships money etc 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 then also you may contact me you may also contact me for a vastu visit of your flat office residence and factory and if you are hell bent on taking your life from the ridiculous to the sublime from the low point to the high point from nothing to something then you may contact me over whatsapp my whatsapp number has been given on this video have a great day and a great life ahead god bless you all jai mata di jai ma kali